Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Can Your Smartphone Make Water Safe to Drink? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in NPJ Clean Water from Nature Research, published on October 13, 2020. Research conducted by Jian Feng Zhou, Wenbo Ding, and Xing She from Georgia Institute of Technology. See the full list of authors in the accompanying PDF. Read by Jacqueline Yung. Abstract. Clean drinking water is essential for our health. Water containing bacteria or viruses can make us very sick. Unfortunately, not everybody has access to clean water from centralized water plants. However, nearly everybody nowadays has a smartphone. That's why we developed a small device and an app which can be used with a smartphone to kill harmful bacteria in water. It can mean that people without a clean water supply can easily disinfect their drinking water and avoid getting sick. Introduction. Do you know how much water you need to drink each day? For children and teenagers aged 9 to 13 years old, it's about 8 cups. Everything in our body needs water to work. But sadly, not everyone has access to clean drinking water. In the U.S., for example... A lot of people living in rural areas do not get their water from centralized water plants. These plants are very expensive to build and maintain. This means they get their water from other sources such as wells and springs, and it could have bacteria in it. If you drink water with bacteria in it, you might get very sick. Some people even die. That's why people living in rural areas need to disinfect or clean their water before they drink it. There are a few different ways to do this. For example, you can use iodine tablets, which are quite efficient at cleaning water, but they could also have negative side effects on your body if you use them for too long, so they are not ideal to use every day. Other methods include ultraviolet lamps and special filtration systems, but all of them have at least one disadvantage. Lamps use a lot of energy, Filtration systems are expensive and parts often need to be replaced when they get clogged. This makes them unsuitable for people who depend on such devices for everyday life. Therefore, we wanted to use a simple energy source, one that nearly everyone nowadays carries with them constantly, a smartphone. What if we could clean water with such a common device? Wouldn't that save a lot of trouble? In the picture at the bottom of the page, we can see that water found in nature may not be safe to drink. Methods. We designed a downloadable app and a cheap device that can be plugged into a smartphone to disinfect water, as seen in figure one. The smartphone creates an electrical current from its battery and sends it through the copper wires. This causes copper ions to be released from the wires. These copper ions kill the bacteria. Water contains living, harmful bacteria, which is pumped into our system. The smartphone's battery sends an electrical current through the copper wires, which causes a release of copper ions that kill the bacteria in the water, making the water safe to drink. The method our device uses is electrochemical disinfection. It uses electric currents to generate substances that can kill bacteria. In our experiments, we used... 1. A smartphone to generate the electric current, and 2. Copper wires as a source for the antibacterial substance. Thanks to the electric current from the phone, copper ions are released from the copper wire. These copper ions kill bacteria. Copper can also be dangerous for humans, but only in much higher concentrations. We tried to find the perfect balance where just enough copper ions are released to kill the bacteria without reaching a harmful level for humans. Results. With our new device, we were able to kill almost all bacteria in the treated water. We tested how well this had worked by putting samples of our treated and untreated water onto agar plates, as seen in figure two on the next page. If disinfection doesn't work, bacterial colonies grow on the plates. We also found the perfect balance between killing all the bacteria but keeping copper levels low enough for humans. We worked out how strong the current needs to be and how fast the water has to flow past the copper wires to achieve this balance. 
With this optimum level, nearly all bacteria can be killed while the released copper is still harmless to humans. As seen in figure two, we put samples of untreated and differently treated water on agar plates. Each white dot is a bacterial colony. By testing the water in this way, we were able to find the best way to run our device to make sure it killed almost all of the bacteria. This is figure A, which is untreated water where bacteria are not killed. In figure B, it is water treated with lower electric current or few copper ions, and some bacteria are killed. In figure C, water is treated with higher electrical current or more copper ions, and nearly all bacteria are killed. So, which treatment method worked the best, and how can you tell? Discussion. Although our device worked really well, we only tested it in a limited laboratory setting, so some things could be different in real life. We were able to disinfect three liters or eight cups of water by only using less than 1% of the phone's battery. The device was able to disinfect the water at phone battery levels as low as 5%. However, the disinfection of these three liters took about five hours, which is too long. Still, all of our tests suggest that it is possible to improve the speed of our device quite easily. When this is done, anyone with a smartphone can use our device to disinfect their drinking water. Occasionally, the copper wire will need to be replaced. Luckily, these wires are very cheap. The whole device will cost only around five to $10. We did not test if our device can kill other harmful microorganisms like viruses. Work by other scientists using copper ions suggests that they can destroy viruses too. Of course, this needs to be tested specifically before our device can be used by humans for their everyday drinking water. Conclusion Clean drinking water is a basic human need. Unfortunately, not everybody around the world can take it for granted. If you want to learn more about this problem, take a look at the UNICEF links in the reference section below. Hopefully, our device will be ready for everyday use very soon. If you live in an area without access to water from a centralized plant, you can use it to keep yourself and your family safe from harmful bacteria in the water. Or you could use it if you go on holiday to such areas. Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.